Oh, good afternoon. Welcome back to Crabtree Hollow. Well, you know, it was a usual day around uh, the shops and whatnot, but uh, yeah, I, I hollowed out, I sculpted out and hollowed out a mahogany 14-inch uh, vase today. I also welded up some tool rests for the new Laguna lathes that are uh, at Woodcraft in Seattle. I don't know what other Woodcrafts might carry them. I imagine they all do. But uh, anyway, I uh, fill in where the big companies leave off of tool rests. So I got that done also. Uh, and uh, now I've got to go in and make my salsa. I've been getting questions on how I've been losing weight lately. And uh, it's because I've lost 46 pounds since uh, the first part of December. Well, it hasn't been easy. Uh, I uh, have found out a couple things that, uh, you know, I just never, never ever came across my mind where I dismissed them rapidly if they did. Number one is that I've been a big milk drinker all my life, I've, you know, like two to three gallons a week. And uh, lo and behold, I, I've always had to take Tums too. So on this HGC diet that I'm on, that's that sh shots you got to give for 21 days, 22 days. Um, I sure didn't like giving myself shots. What it did is it, it made me want to lose the weight so the shots that I was giving myself weren't in vain. One of the things that I had to do uh, for this diet was I had to not, not go over 500 calories a day for three weeks. But I also had to quit all dairy food and everything. So they gave me a pretty strict diet of what I could eat, uh, optional diet, but I needed to stick to that. And so for three weeks, that's what I did. Uh, it was very difficult, but the weight came off. And what, why I'm talking to you folks about this today is this diet is something that I can understand. It's the first one that I've been able to grab a hold of and, and uh, uh, control the way I want to. Almost. <laughs> it's pretty difficult. I lost 25 pounds in the month of December, I think 12 pounds in January, um, 8 pounds or 9 pounds in February, but I've lost 46 pounds altogether. Now I, I'm at a plateau right now of 220 pounds. My goal is another 21 pounds, 199, then I'll see how I like myself at that weight. <clears throat> My biggest problem that I've been having, or I started having when I started this diet, uh, and came off came off the shots and everything. Uh, I needed bulk. I needed to have bulk to eat that didn't carry the calories and the fat. So I started making myself salsa, and uh, I. Uh, then I, you know, after eating a bunch of that day in and day out, I uh, remembered that I do like cabbage salad. So I started making cabbage salad and, and trading off. Um, one time I make salsa, the next time I make cabbage salad. Today, though, I want to share my version of the salsa that I make. There's many versions out there, um, but I've, I can make my own a little bit less expensive than buying it and also um, with less calories in it. Um, the recipe that I have followed says there's 10 calories per cup. Uh, I put a little sugar in it um, and you know whatnot so Maybe there's 20 calories per cup. I don't know. I 
So I want to take you in the house and uh, uh, I've got uh, tomatoes ready and everything else ready and, and I'll just show you how I put together my salsa because I eat a gigantic amount of it. Uh, what I make today will probably be gone by tomorrow evening or early uh, Monday morning. Okay, So it's not, uh, uh, it's not something that uh, goes to waste by any means. Uh, I just, uh, you know, sometimes I just crave the bulk, and uh, that's what this uh, salsa does. It, it uh, satisfies my bulk. So anyway, let's well, here's on. my setup in the kitchen. I have lemon juice, about a half a lemon, lemon of the juice I put in there. I put in. Just a little bit of garlic, it adds to the taste, but I don't want to be overwhelming. I have some jalapeno peppers here. I have some salt, or excuse me, I have some sugar. Some pepper. Some sea salt. Okay, so I'll uh, throw in a tomato or two right now. To get this thing going. Okay, I put about three quarters of a bunch of uh, cilantro in here. I like it, but you know, I'm not enamored by it in any way. This this comes out with the puree type thing right now. So I'll get out my mixing bowl. Okay, I'll put all that in there. Now I have like uh, five more, six more uh, tomatoes. I put those in there. I like the I like the chunks, so uh, I don't puree them all. And also, I have two bunches of green onions that I uh, um, put in. Okay. Now, I haven't pureed um, these uh, larger tomatoes before. I tried it with grape tomatoes, and um, they gave me a real thick puree. So that's my version of salsa, and uh, it's all there. So it's just to taste what you like and everything. But it is a good way to get a lot of food in you. Uh, when you're on a diet, it doesn't cost you a lot of calories, okay? And that's that's why it's that's what I do. Thank you. Okay, this is a uh, what a uh, typical cabbage salad of mine looks like. You have about everything in there that uh, body would need. Mmm, makes my mouth water. That's no joke. This video turned out to be just a little bit incomplete as far as the information goes uh, about the diet and everything. And first of all, I want to, I want to finish out uh, my train of thought as far as drinking milk and not drinking milk anymore. Like I said, I used to drink a lot of milk. I also ate Tums all about every day. 
since I have quit drinking milk, I've not touched one tongue. Okay. The other, so that, that just goes to show you something that you do every day may not be the best thing for you. One more thing about this diet is I'm not too much on exercising. I, you know, I, I can get out there and, and chop wood. I can uh, use my chainsaw. I can dig ditches. I can, I can do whatever I need to do that takes strength and everything and the muscles. But I just hate to just to exercise. I just, it's, <clears throat> it's just, I just don't like it. Okay, so I wanted a diet that I could go without exercising and still control it, which so far with this one I have. So that's good. The, uh, the place to find this HGC diet is through a natural path doctor. I went, through, I went to one in uh, uh, the family center in Portland, Oregon which is, a, you know, 150 miles from where I live, but uh, my uh, daughter-in-law, uh, Dr. Heather Crabtree, is, is uh, uh, a doctor there. She, she uh, practices there, so I went through there. The, uh, also in the variation, I took a shot every day, but I've also heard of people doing it once a week, going to the clinic, and, and doing it. So you can, you know, there's variations that way. Also, it's two days after I have uh, recorded the rest of the, the video, uh, and uh, I, I lost in the last two days, I've lost five pounds. So I'm down to, I, I'm, I'm, I'm down to uh, 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 215 now. And uh, boy, it's getting there. 16 pounds to go. Oh yeah, and another important thing. It happened that day, it happened two days ago and everything. I decided instead of sitting down with the salsa and eating, you know, like a cup, cup and a half of it at one time or the coleslaw, that I would back off of that and just just take a few bites and that's it, you know. Uh, maybe maybe uh, a third of a cup or something like that and try that. And so the last couple of days, I haven't been near so hungry, and it might be because of the bulk, I don't know. Recipes that I have for the salsa and cabbage salad are at the end of this uh, video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And I hope that in all my videos, this can help some people out there anyway. Anyway, hang in there from Crabtree Hollow.